Let us turn our attention to an elusive goddess, Yord, Yur, Lord, often described simply as the Earth. She holds an unusual position in Nordic heathenry, one defined by mystery and sporadic attestations in the law. She is most often described as Thor's mother and a lover of Odin, sometimes called Fjörgin or Hlothin. Her connections to the land, the earth, and by extension, nature itself, is rather undisputed. It is worth mentioning here that Thor's association with Jord helps inform modern heathens of his associations with agriculture, reinforcing that every man's god identity that many hold dear. As the son of Jord, Yardapur, as he is sometimes described, he is grounded in Midgard, our world, as a force of protection and strength, tied to us innately. With mentions in both the poetic and prose Edda, alongside an incredibly brief appearance in Sacto Grammaticus's History of the Danes, Gesta Danorum, Jord has close ties and unspoken, no doubt lost, importance to the history of the gods as it is presented. There's certainly an element of Jord being a figure that played a crucial role in the early days of the gods' founding, and laying the path for the stories we have been told. Snorri Sturluson, in Skalskaparmal, of the Prose Edda, offers the most information we have on her connections to the greater family tree. How should one call the earth? Thus, by calling her flesh of Ymir and mother of Thor, daughter of Onar, Odin's bride, co-wife of Frigg and Rinder and Gudlod, mother-in-law of Sif, floor and bottom of the storm hall, sea of beasts, daughter of night, sister of Auder and of day. 1922, Arthur Gilchrist Brother translation. An important element there lies in the flesh of Ymir, suggesting that Jord may have been born or created upon the death of Ymir. Other translations replace co-wife of Frigg to rival, notably in Folks in his 1995 translation. While she is often described as one of the Jotnar, and while her ties to Ymir are recorded, though different from other Jotun, Rudolf Simek argues her position as an Asia goddess in the Dictionary of Northern Mythology. There are some modern heathens who believe Nerthus to be another name for Jort, potentially tying her more closely to the Vanir gods. The Vanir's seemingly innate connection with fertility and the natural world would fit seamlessly with Jort's associations. Regardless, in strictly human terms, she was clearly known across the Germanic region, persevering across history and geography. Yet despite all of this, she remains relatively absent from ritual in the greater heathen landscape. Do you work on worship with Jord? What does she represent to you? Do you have any personal gnosis or experiences? <laughs>